Which of the following regular expressions represents the language, the set of all binary strings having two consecutive zeros and two consecutive ones? So this is a question from theory of computation regarding regular expressions. In the question they have given us a language, the set of all binary strings having two consecutive zeros and two consecutive ones. And four options have been given which contain four regular expressions and they are asking which of these regular expressions captures the language given here correctly. So, I have written one sample string here. Now this string contains two consecutive zeros. It also contains two consecutive ones. So it contains two consecutive zeros and two consecutive ones. So this string belongs to the language given in the question. Okay. Now let us look at the regular expressions given in the options and see which all can generate this string correctly. So if you look at option A, it says 0 plus 1 star 0 0 1 1 0 plus 1 star plus 0 plus 1 star 1 1 0 0 0 plus 1 star. Now this regular expression what it gives is it gives the set of all strings which has 0 0 1 1 or 1 1 0 0 has a substring. Now if you look at our sample string, this string doesn't have 1 1 0 0 or 0 0 1 1 as a substring. But this string belongs to the language given in the question and this regular expression can't cover this string. So clearly this regular expression doesn't cover the language given in the question. So this is wrong. Let's look at option Z. Option C 0 plus 1 star 0 0 0 plus 1 star plus 0 plus 1 star 1 1 0 plus 1 star. So this regular expression generates all strings which has either 0 0 or 1 1 as a substring. So if you take a look, this string is covered by this language. We can generate this string using this regular expression. But there is one problem. If you take and if you look at this part, this part can generate even the string 0, 0 or even the string 1, 1 alone. So this kind of string can also be generated by this regular expression. But clearly this string or this string doesn't belong to our language. For our language, it needs both 0, 0 as well as 1, 1 as a substring in the every strings of the language. So clearly this option C is also wrong. It generates strings which doesn't belong in the language. Now let's look at option D. If you take a look at option D, it generates strings starting with 0, 0 and ending with 1, 1 or starting with 1, 1 and ending with 0, 0. Again this is also wrong. In our sample string it starts with 0, 1 but it can only generate strings starting with either 0, 0 or 1, 1. So this is also wrong. Now the only option left is option B. So if you take a look at option B, what it says is it starts with 0 or 1 star, that is fine. It ends with 0 or 1 star, that's also fine. And in the middle part, it will be either 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 plus 1 star, 1, 1 or 1, 1, 0 plus 1 star, 0, 0. Now this is correct. This generates strings which has 0, 0 and 1, 1 as a substring. Either 0, 0 will appear first and then 1, 1 or 1, 1 appears first and then 0, 0. Either way, it will cover all the strings that has 0, 0 and 1, 1 as a substring. Also, it doesn't generate strings having just 0, 0 or just 1, 1. This kind of string which the language in C was generating. So, this is the correct answer.